Welcome to the walks on a very chilly Saturday evening, but very heartwarming as well. It's ended here, Kings Lynn Town 2, Dover Athletic nil. That's two wins in a row, first time ever in the National League. Two clean sheets in a row, first time ever in the National League. All done here. First goal was just behind me. That came after 43 minutes. Michael Clunan corner from down there, from the right. Plonked straight on the head of Rory McCauley, which is a bandaged head, by the way, after his uh, heroics at Barnet, who planted it in the top right-hand corner. Excellent header, and what Lynn deserved, frankly, because the visitors, really, they did to Lynn what Lynn were doing to Barnet on uh, Tuesday night. Um, it was more of a rear-guard action, because Barnet, the Barnet win was made through sort of breakaway goals. This one was where Lynn had to unpick two walls of red shirts, uh, which it did with McCauley. They had other chances. Alex Brown had, had a good chance in the first half. Second half, Cameron King had had a good chance. Various others, Cairo Mitchell, who had an excellent game, by the way. Um, but it wasn't settled until a penalty four minutes from time, I think it was. Um, Cairo Mitchell in the area, turned and rolled uh, by, well, he rolled his defender. Defender got a red card. The defender, Ryan Harrison, I believe. Sorry, Hanson. Sorry, I beg your pardon. Ryan Hanson got a red card. Now, Cairo Mitchell picked up the ball. He wanted to take the penalty. We all know why. You've been rolled for the penalty or been fouled. You want to take it. Um, but Adam Merritt, who was in, on by a, as a sub and very sharp he looked too, uh, he is the penalty taker. He wanted it. Michael Clunan did the right thing as captain, came up, had a word with. Uh, uh, Cairo Mitchell and Adam Merritt took the penalty and scored 2-0, thoroughly deserved win, puts him into very good heart I would say for the trip in the FA Cup second round at Portsmouth next Saturday. That's not the end of it, a couple of other little snippets to bring you. Danny Lupano who's been on a one month loan from Hull City, that loan is now at an end. Nice, the uh, players uh, were all told in the dressing room after the game, gave him a nice round of applause, I quite like that. Um, and it's fairly obvious he was on the bench and Carl Callum McFadden made his debut for Lynn today. You know, you've got budgets to look after, you can't have too many uh, central defenders, really, that is too many probably, so he goes back. Wouldn't be at all surprised that Kings Lynn Town will keep an eye on his situation because he was an emerging talent, I think he, he started to grow into the place and uh, by the look of him. Um, but anyway, he's gone, uh, Kyle was in, he had a good solid game, hadn't played for that long, uh, got a little bit leggy probably in the second half, but did well. The other bits of news, Michael Gash, there was a suggestion from Ian Culverhouse that he will be on the bench at Portsmouth next Saturday. Now that's a bigger bench than normal I think, um, because of the FA Cup, but he'll be on the bench. Now we haven't seen him at all this season, we only saw him briefly in pre-season, he had a very nasty illness, um, he's been joining in, uh, warming up before games, but he hasn't played, he hasn't got any game time under his belt. Whether we'll see him play at Portsmouth if needs be, who knows? I would suggest he knows and everybody else does that probably stamina needs building up. But that's really encouraging news. Brilliant for Michael Gash, a very popular, a very, very good player. Um, so that's about it. Um, we'll be back ahead of Portsmouth because I think there might be some uh, bits to report before then. But this mugshot will be with you, I think, probably post Portsmouth as well. So again, we have it Kings in Town 2, Dover Athletic 0, Kings in Town 12th and Table. Don't tell anyone. Good night.